So today here we are at Binary Star in Ginza and here is Mr. Don from Bahama. Yes. Thank it's you so much for here. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Yes, yeah, good to be here. Great to meet you. Hello Japan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so could you introduce yourself and what's your role in Bahama government? Yes, my name is Don Cornish. I am the Island Administrator for the Island of Grand Bahama, which is in the Northwest um, Bahamas. It's the second largest population area, and I'm responsible for all government services there in the city of Freeport. Oh, wow. And Freeport is the second most vibrant part of our economy. Nassau, mm -hmm. of course, is number one. Most people here have Nassau, Bahamas. Freeport is number two. And so um, I'm here basically to talk about the crypto and blockchain industry to talk about new legislation that mm -hmm. the government is implementing for the industry and to talk about the, I guess, the synergy between our financial services industry and blockchain, how that's going to work for us and also our desire to ensure that we create the right kind of synthesis mm -hmm. so that we don't lose our competitive advantage. I see. Um, so that's important, that's why I'm here. Oh wow, yeah. how long have you been working for the government? 25 years. 25, wow, <laughs> long time, very experienced. Yes, 25 years in several different capacities. Most recently I was a diplomat I'm based in Beijing, not too far oh, away, wow. just across, just across so the bay. you speak Chinese? No, unfortunately, um, I was it's director... It's a difficult language. Um, yeah, I didn't have the time. I was also director of tourism for Asia Market. Oh, wow. So I was responsible for promoting the Bahamas for tourism mm -hmm. and financial services and also a diplomat at the same time. So I, I have a lot of work. Well, I yeah. think more Japanese people should know more about Bahamas, Definitely. right? So, um, yeah. could you tell me about your current situations in Bahama in terms of blockchain and cryptocurrency? For example, um, ICOs in Japan is pretty much banned now, right? Is that like... Well, it's not banned. Um, part of the reason why I'm here is because we're trying to create a, the right marriage between our financial services, um, finances and technology, fintech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's so important to us is because that um, investment space has evolved very quickly. Yes. Um, blockchain is probably the stepchild of the financial industry. Mm -hmm. Right, stepchild. People are, people are afraid of it because it's, it's, it's user friendly, um, it's young. Yeah. And you know, it's like a parent child relationship. Mm -hmm. um, kind of crazy child. Yeah, Black you know. Sheep. Your parents oh. want to figure out what's wrong with this child? Yeah, like, oh, She's crazy. always home. Yeah. Why can't she just behave? Why can't she be like a normal child? Yeah. <laughs> but she doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we recognize that we're going to have children like mm -hmm. that in mm -hmm. the financial mm -hmm. industry. They're coming. So we're expecting them. And so, in principle, we want to make sure that when they do come, that the rules that we have don't prevent them from be from becoming the best child mm, possible. I see, so I you see. build the right kind of foundation. You train and you direct the energy mm -hmm. so that there's a benefit for all. Mm. So if you have a blockchain industry uh, initiative, yes. like say SDO mm -hmm. or ICO, you have an exchange idea, you have coins you want to offer, Here's an opportunity for you oh. to come to the Bahamas. It's a playground. And yes, Where people can be free play. on the playground. These are the rules. That's and whatever nice. you do outside of that, um, once it subscribes to the rules, everything's okay. Oh, I see. So it has so much yeah. more freedom. Yes, there's more freedom, there's responsibility mm -hmm. because there's somebody responsible for ensuring that the industry is protected mm -hmm. and that it follows all the international rules. But it doesn't limit your creativity. Mm, it's like, so good balance yeah, of so, rules yeah. and freedom. Yeah, fintech, mm. you know, finance and technology coming together, and we want to go further. We also want to create an incubator. Incubator. Where we have a tech hub, mm -hmm. or a tech bay, or a tech port, where just like a ship, mm -hmm. you know, if you're coming into port, you know, everything's all set and set apart for you and you can feel free to come in and get all the services that you need and you have access to expertise to prepare you to go back out again right because you just said yes. in your speech that bahama i think many japanese people kind of have um wrong idea about bahama mm -hmm. being tax haven 
No. But you said that that's not true no. at all. No. Because here's 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 what a tax haven is. A tax haven or a tax shelter is some place where you hide money. Right. That like may be suspicious. Place. We're not that is that. Not true. We have a tax neutral platform. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is that when you come to the Bahamas, you're not subject to estate taxes, capital gains taxes, you're not subject to um, income taxes. You are free to carry out your business, mm -hmm. but according to the financial rules of the environment that we operate in, which is the world. Mm -hmm. So for example, we have conventions agreements with different countries for tax information exchange. So we're not hiding anything. So if a country, let's say country number one, had a citizen who had money in the Bahamas, yes. if they wanted to find out information, mm -hmm. no problem. There's it's some information we can give. Mm -hmm. It's very transparent, but mm -hmm. there are cases where certain aspects of your business are required to be revealed only by the courts. Mm -hmm. So if you make a case to the court, you say, I believe that Naomi is doing business in the Bahamas illegally. And you make the case, then the judge will say yes. I see. No problem, mm -hmm. because we have an agreement. Mm -hmm. And if there's a the need to take it further, then admitted. the person will be punished. We don't protect criminals. No. Yeah, we're not in that business. And it's the second largest section of our economy. So it's very significant for us. Yes, yeah, true. We have more than 300 financial institutions in the Bahamas, all international. Oh, wow. So from all over the world, some of the countries um, basically that are having challenges with the blockchain now, mm -hmm. they operate their financial services mm -hmm. in the Bahamas through these, these various entities. And so we're very happy that we have a chance to put together a platform mm -hmm. within a structure with our new laws that will be attractive to the industry. I think many Japanese companies have led to places like Hong Kong or Singapore mm -hmm. because the regulations are more relaxed there. Mm -hmm. But how difficult is it for a Japanese person or a company to open up their business or getting a citizenship in Bahama? Is that easy? But not citizenship. We're not selling citizenship. Oh, okay. Um, we're not going to get into citizenship business. It's always very sensitive. Mm -hmm. But any person who is doing business in the Bahamas above 250,000 US dollars okay. is allowed to move freely to and from the Bahamas for business. Oh, wow. So they will get a card mm -hmm. that says that they are a permanent resident with the right to work in their business. Oh, I see. And if they have families, um, we're going to make it easy for the families to come as well as staff, certain staff. Mm -hmm. And there's a period within which they can qualify. So I think it's fair because if you have a business, you have persons, let's say in Taiwan or Japan or Australia, you move your business to the Bahamas, mm -hmm. you should be able to bring some support staff yes, yes. to at That'd least transition yeah. Yeah, until you're at a certain stage mm -hmm. and then you're, you know, you're able to go on your own. And so that's important for us and that's part of the reason why we try to make that extra step. Wow. Many mature countries do that. So as a... As a, a, a an emerging economy, mm -hmm. we want to do the same thing. Oh, wow, wonderful. You know, um, it's not to, to make it um, such that people believe we're selling a privilege. Mm -hmm. We want you to invest. And because you invest, then you're making our country stronger. Mm -hmm. So the very least uh, we can do is make opportunities available for you mm -hmm. with certain concessions and certain benefits that don't take away too much from what we're able to do as a country. I see. So the tax is very low, right? Corporate tax and no corporate. There's no corporate, corporate tax. tax. There's no capital gain tax. There's I'm just no wondering tax. how Bahama government can make money, for example, for like well, infrastructure. The sector is subject to the various rules of banking system. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're transferring money, that's yes. where the bank makes its money. Oh, I see. When the bank makes money, the government makes money. Oh. Okay. The bank has to pay business taxes, the bank has to pay its staff, mm -hmm. many Bahamians work in the banking sector. So more people and so, doing more businesses. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not trying to sell crypto and blockchain businesses to make a profit. Mm -hmm. We're trying to create a platform where they can operate in the Bahamas freely with certain guidelines and the industry can grow. Once the industry starts to grow, mm -hmm. then very naturally it helps our economy. Yeah, sure.
Yeah. So more people, yeah. more works. Yeah. If, if I take if I take something from you by charging a tax at the very beginning, let's say five percent. Yeah. You may say, oh, you know, I can go to another country. Yeah, I can go to another country. And that, that's, a, that's onerous. That's, that's a burden. Yeah. But if you go to another country, they may say, oh, yeah, come fill you, no problem. If I don't tax you, you stay for 20 years. You hire 500 people. Yes, I think that can grow faster. You build faster, a house. Right? You go to our stores. Mm -hmm. You do different things in the Bahamas. You may contribute 50,000 times more. Wow, that's so, wonderful. So, so we don't, we don't, we're not insular and we don't have tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. We have a, a more global look at it. Mm. You know, we, we look at like the peripheral, yeah, benefit. long term benefit because the financial services industry is more than 100 years old. Mm. Yes, wow, well, so 100 been, years old. So we've been in the business for a long time. Right. And so we're patient enough to mm -hmm. understand that if we do it right, you will stay with us. I see. And yeah. the growth will we don't continue. Like, we, we don't want you to divorce us. We want you to leave us. I we want see. you to stay with us. I see. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, what do you think of the Japanese government and their um, regulatory measures over um, blockchain and cryptocurrency? Are you familiar with that? I don't know as much as I, I, I would like. I'm learning about it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm sure that they have some experiences that will guide their decisions. Mm -hmm. And so I can't speak with authority about it. I see. But I believe they'll make good decisions about the future. Right. Like taking um, because I think they understand how serious it can be when you make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And so we're learning from other other areas of um, the learning blockchain industry, and so we're gonna sit with them. We have a meeting to talk about you know some of the things that that they've faced, and to take suggestions and also to give advice where we can as well. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Bahamas sounds wonderful and sounds like uh, your country is very up. Uh, friendly for challenges and startups and innovations, right? We're at the very beginning. Um, we're hopeful yes. that in the next six months to a year, mm -hmm. we will be the destination of choice for crypto and blockchain investment. Right. It hasn't the happened Japanese yet. So we're here to talk about that. We're here to invite persons mm -hmm. to look at us and to give us a chance. Yes, hopefully I can help you with that a little bit. Definitely, like we look forward to it. Um, what we would like for you to do is to come and do a live broadcast from the Bahamas. I'd love to. Yes. I mean, I think and it's so, beautiful so let's, country. let's talk about that. Yes. Maybe some of our partners can bring you down. You can, you know, enjoy yourself. Yes. But work at the same time because I think when people get to see it mm -hmm. and they get to feel it yes. and they get to taste it, it'd be great. Maybe you could do a food tour to the Bahamas mm. for crypto, a crypto food tour, yes. a crypto music tour, a yes. crypto swim with the pigs tour or pink sand beach mm. experience oh, or that island wonderful. hopping, you know, showing the connection between it. There are many things we yeah, can we talk can about. Yeah, we can Yeah, but, but I look forward to um, a, a stronger relationship with Asia and mm -hmm. with Japan in yes. particular. That's why we're here. We have two more days to really speak to the industry partners and mm -hmm. stakeholders mm -hmm. and to find synergies so that we can build a structure that will be beneficial to both countries. Wonderful. So I think we are wrapping up now, but is there anything you want to say before we go? Thank you so much. It's been 21 years since I was here. Wow. I was here in 1998, wow. so I look forward to getting out and to experiencing a little bit more. I was there for a conference. I was stuck in the conference all day. I had a half hour after the conference ended to go downtown. Mm -hmm. So I hope to th this time I get I get some street food. I get some. Oh, um, I think yeah, yeah, I think you should get yeah, it, yeah. a real native experience. Mm. Yeah, and so I look forward to that. So far, it's been great. I've had some great food. I arrived early this morning, and um, I, I was welcomed. And we've been working all, all through. Uh, we're going to have three hectic days, mm -hmm. but I love it. The hospitality has been great. And thank you so much, Japan. Oh, thank you so much. And yes. please come back, come, come back again. Yes, and certainly. Thank you.